Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Thanks for joining today. Today we're going to be making a bracelet using pipe cleaners. So I hope you were able to get a hold of some pipe cleaners. First of all, let's stand up and do our warm up and then we'll get going with our activities. Hi everyone, so today we're going to be doing our butterfly again for our warm up. I'll go through it slowly in case you haven't done this with us before, but we have been doing it already, so I'm ready to make it even harder. But let me show you, just so you remember, down, you've got your sock or your toy or your bean bag, down, out, around, past your nose, and it comes to your tummy. Then you swap, this hand waits at your tummy, the other hand goes down, out, around, and past your nose. So let's do 10 quite quickly, because we've been practicing that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Now, the challenge this week is we're going to try and make our eyes look at the beanbag as it goes around. So our eyes are going to start looking at a beanbag, our eyes are looking down, and then our eyes are turning and they're following the beanbag as it goes out and up, and then it comes past our nose, then it goes into the other hand. So they're looking, they're coming down, our eyes are looking as we go, and then they're looking up, and then they're looking down. So let's practice that slowly. It's okay if you move your head. I'm moving my head at the moment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do six of them, but we're going to look with our eyes to our beanbag as it's going around. Are you ready? Down, we're looking down. We're following it as it goes. And then it's coming up. And then it's coming down. That's one. Down. Out. Up. Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it as it comes past your nose. That's two. And down. And out. And up. Past your nose. Three. Down. Out. Up. Past your nose. That's four. Down. Out. Up. Past your nose. That's five. And last one. Down. Out. Up. And past your nose. That's six. Well done everyone. It's okay if that's really tricky because it is quite hard, but I just want you to keep practicing. Our warm up this week for the whole week is going to be tearing a circle. So what you need to do, like we did last week, is take your paper, fold it in half, tear it in half. You can do it this way or you can do it with little tears as well. Then you want to take your pen and draw your circle. Keep the other piece of paper for tomorrow and then you're going to tear with your fingers like we did the other day. Little tears all the way around and little tears and little tears and little tears. So keep it going all the way around, all the way around, little tears Move your finger, so tear and move, and tear and move, and tear and move, tear, move, tear, move, all the way around. If the circle's too tricky, you can do a square, but at the end, when you've turned all the way around, you should have a circle. 
What you can do as well is use the other piece of paper and draw a circle on that and get ready for tomorrow. And then every day we're going to need a new one with the circle on it. So you can always just get the next one ready for tomorrow as well. So I'm really hoping the adults were able to get some pipe cleaners because most of our activities this week are going to be with the pipe cleaners. If you weren't able to, I have included a few extra cut and fold activities so you could do them instead, but hopefully you've got some pipe cleaners. Our activity for today is to make a bracelet. So what you'll need is, hopefully you've got some long pipe cleaners and you'll need two different colors. It doesn't matter what color they are, you can choose your favorite colors. But what you'll need are two different colors and we're going to twist the pipe cleaners together so that we make a bracelet. So what you need to do once you've got your two different color pipe cleaners, so choose two different color pipe cleaners, and we're going to twist it. And I'm going to use, so the fingers that we've been using whilst we've been tearing and the fingers that you hold onto your pencil with, we're going to use, we're going to use these fingers we're going to tuck away our little finger and our ring finger. We're going to use our thumb and our pointer and our middle finger. We're going to twist and twist and twist. And we need to move our fingers down as we're going as well. We need to move our fingers. So I'm doing a twist and then a move and 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 what's happening with my pipe cleaners is they're all twisting together to make a really fun like candy cane kind of pattern and I'm just going to keep going twist and move and twist and move and twist and move all the way down until all of my pipe cleaner looks like this So when you have finished twisting all of the pipe cleaners together it will look like this and we're going to turn it into a bracelet. So what we need to do is turn it around into a circle. The circle needs to be big enough so it will fit around your hand. So if you've got a big hand you'll need to make it quite close to the end. If you've got a small hand it might be that you make it closer in. And what you're going to do is you're going to make sort of a cross shape with it and then you're going to take one side and you're going to twist it in and under in the circle and then you're going to twist it in and under and you're going to keep twisting it in and under until there's no more to twist and then take the other side and twist it in and under so that there's no more to twist and then you will have a bracelet and you can put it on your hand you can also if you do two sets of pipe cleaners, so if you get the long ones and then you do, you twist one set together and then you twist another set together, what you can then do is twist the ends together at the end and you can make quite a big long necklace. But I won't have time to do that today, but that's another thing you can do by twisting pipe cleaners together. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to share what you've done because I'd love to see it and I'll see you next time.